<laughs> How's it going guys? My name is Patrick. Welcome to my show. <laughs> Again. <laughs> the last two episodes. There was a lot of emotions going on in the last episode and I, I, I gotta be honest, the last episode, even though it was a little bit fucked up, it was kind of beautiful. Beautiful episode where we just saw two psychopaths going for it and and we see end of the fight between Saragi and Unohana that Saragi is like, I'm gonna call him Kebachi now on. <laughs> He's just yelling and like begging Unohana to not to die. Like grabbing her and just saying don't go and like usually you see that kind of things in some kind of love movies or something like that. But Kenpachi were begging Unohana to stay alive because he wanted to fight against her so badly that he didn't want that fight to end. Man, they 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 are wilding. They are they are insane. <laughs> Man. And afterwards when I finished the episode, I started to actually think about in late nights while I was trying to sleep but couldn't sleep because I started to think about this thing too much. <laughs> uh, can it be? Because I started to think about that when Unohana said that she's giving everything what she has gained for you to Kenpachi, Saraki. So is it like is it like she gave some of her powers to Kenpachi? Like we saw that her Sanpakto became like red in the end. And it was like and it looked like she was giving her sword to Kenpachi. I don't know, I, I don't know, I started to think about that. Is there some kind of meaning for that? That did Unohana give some of her powers to Kenpachi? I'm not gonna lie, the Sambak though, the way Unohana like saved Bankai and the way she did that and the Sambak though were really nice, it was really cool. Well, the plate was like red, it was like a blood going on there and it was truly like a serial killer wipes that the whole place was on the plot. And I started to think about that because Saraki Kenpachi, even though he became a Kenpachi when he killed the other guy back back in the days, he became a Kenpachi, but he didn't have a bang guy even afterwards. And Unohana had Bankai. So why didn't Kenpachi like Saraki get the punk guy? Like, I started to think about that because Unohana was the first Kenpachi ever. And they have said that only in one generation there can be one Kenpachi who is, uh, who is having the name of Kenpachi. And becoming Kenpachi you need to like, you need to kill the one who is carrying the name. So you're gonna earn the name to become a Kenpachi. But I started to think about that, if Unohana was the first Kenpachi ever, who was the guy who Saraki killed when he became a Kenpachi? Was it like, was the guy really Kenpachi? Or how does that work? Because I started to think about that, is there some kind of way that Unohana had Bankai from the start when she became the first Kenpachi. So is it like that all the Kenpachis after her who became a Kenpachi haven't had any Bankai? So was it like someone needed to kill, some Kenpachi needed to kill Unohana, the first Kenpachi, to gain the Bankai? Because afterward, because we saw the end of the battle that right after Unohana died, Kenpachi's word, Sampakto, started to talk to Kenpachi right afterwards. So is there like, that gave me some kind of theory that is it possible that, that, that there can be only one like active Bankai during the 
get batches like and if there exist many get batches is it like only one can have that bankai the one who is the strongest one the first one like right now unohana so was it like was it like you need to kill the other one the first Genpachi, so you can have that bankai that you can have your Sampakto to talk to you like is it like that it's just one like a spirit in Sampakto like we know Ichigo has like Sangetsu so is it like between the Genpachis there can be only one spirit in this Sampakto that Unohana's Sampakto when she died is that possible that person or the spirit from the Unohana's Bankai, like Sampakto, went to Saragi's Sampakto. How does that work? Because I started to think about that and it actually makes sense because I'm not sure did guy have Bankai who Saragi Kenpachi killed back in the days to earn the name of the Kenpachi. Or has it always been like after Unohana there has not been any other Kenpachi who has the Bankai? So is it, is it like these guys has needed to kill Unohana to gain the Bankai for themselves. So I I don't know some kind of way that that sounds pretty nice idea like a cute theory over there, but I'm not sure actually because yeah I don't know like has there only been one Sampakto who changes the owner when someone kills the Kenpachi who is carrying the Sampakto and the Bankai. On that moment. So the Sambakto or the spirit over there is changing the owner for recognizing okay this other guy killed my master. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna go to this Kenpachi. The new Kenpachi is gonna become my owner. So is it like there gonna be only one bang guy around the Kenpachi's like I don't know that's some kind of way that some kind of way that sounds pretty good theory. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But I don't know is that true. I don't know is that true. But yeah, but I like that one detail that Saraki Kenpachi's Sambakdo, because we heard Sambakdo were talking to him, end of the battle. It wasn't any kind of like demon wipe or it wasn't like any kind of powerful sounding voice. It was like cute little girl's voice. Some kind of way I love I love that because it it brings there some kind of construct like balance when you think about Saraki Kenpachi is like brutal guy with a strong voice with everything it's just a just a beast and then his Sambakto has this like cute little girl's voice it kind of creeps me out but I like that I like that one yeah in the end I'm a little bit uh, mad about that what happened to Yama Old Man Yama and also now Unohana that the boat died just so suddenly. I, I didn't see either of them coming. So so yeah, it's a little bit mad about that because I would have wanted to see Unohana more, her abilities and what kind of person she is. Well, during the two episodes we got to know that she is like psychopath, serial killer, but I guess it is what it is, but but in the end, amazing episode. The last episode was amazing, and kind of afterwards, I started to think about that more deeply. The connection of the last episode between Saragi Kenpachi and also Unohana, and it was brilliant, to be honest. In the end, I love that. And we ended the episode where Ichigo went to the Karakura down. I'm not sure is that some kind of time traveling or is it like Ichigo is actually there currently during this time or what's happening did he go back to his memories or something like that I don't know we're gonna figure it out in the next episode maybe I'm not sure yeah without any more saying hey I have been talking too much over here so let's go to the next episode I have my tea ready over here so let's go and then I started to think about that because Unohana said in the end that, that there is two reasons for her to be. It's like kill the other one or make the other one stronger. 
So did I'm kind of thinking that that actually might be that, that actually might confirm my theory about that that there might be only one Bankai for Kenpachis and to gain the Bankai you need to kill the Kenpachi who is carrying the Bankai so that might actually confirm my theory right but I don't know I don't know is it true but either if it is or it's not don't spoil me <laughs> I ever forged. Okay. <clears throat> Every soul reaper is given an Asauchi, and through continuous training, we transform Asa Uchi. into our own. Is it like Sankar just a sword? Tone. What he's talking That's about? The foundation and the essence of the relationship between soul reapers and their Zanpakuto. That squad member. So he is like the father of all Zanpaktos, right? It's true, even for a stray, self-taught outlaw like Kinpachi Zaraki. He gained an okay. Asauchi by lifting it off the corpse That's pretty of interesting, soul actually. Reaper. There are no exceptions. Since the dawn of the Soul Society, not a single Soul Reaper has ever awakened their own Zanpakuto. So is it, is it because he doesn't have Zanpakuto anymore? Yes. So that's why he doesn't have this Ucha Uchi or what he was saying. Karakura down, the shop. Is that their family shop? Ichigo, where have you been? Yeah, Ichigo, Ichigo like over there. Since... He didn't seem very happy to see me. Why is he running away? You show up at my door out of the blue, acting like it's oh, the he's... end of the world. That's the boss. Like you're some schoolgirl who had a fight with her parents. Who he's working for? Sorry. Hmm? Yo, my girl is watching there. Ichigo, the shower. Dang! I got kicked out without even. It's hot. Shut up. Just eat it. Yo, she's hot. After not showing up for work. Yo, she's like, boy, we are doing it right now. <laughs> you should apologize, Ichigo. You're right, Dang. but not for that, you stupid idiot. From the day I hired you, haven't I always been like an older sister to you? You can come to me about anything. I can't believe you don't know that by now. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? What the hell? <clears throat> Ishin. What is all there? Must what? have been some kind of prank. Well, anyway, thanks. Yo. I'm uh I'm heading He's home. Boss. Don't worry. I'm okay now. The fact that you came for me wearing that outfit means you know, don't you? Urahara told me what happened in the Soul Society. Knows what? That your Zanpak toe was broken and that Squad Zero came for you. They've kicked you out, haven't they? Yo, he knows! Well, I think I can see why. You know the first thing about yourself. What? Or where you came from. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> Yo, we need the backstory. We need Remember that you once so said that badly. Wait till I felt the time was right. Let's Listen go. Carefully. You're not a soul reaper, but you're not an ordinary human either. There's a something you need to know about your mother, Ichigo. I'm so happy they are gonna give that. Come on, let's go. He said that um, you're not a soul reaper, but Ishin is, so that kind of confirms that Ishin is not Ichigo's father, right? He's not soul reaper, he's not ordinary human, so he is a uh, Quincy, right? Okay, okay, interesting. Let's see the let's see the backstory. Here's this. <laughs> My name is that Ichigo's mom? Kurosaki. Yeah. I'm a Quincy. Yo! We are getting this one! Let's go! Captain? Is that Rankiku? Found you! 
My, what a big acorn. I think I broke my pelvis. Yo. I'll have to take the rest of the day off. Oh, Still the same. Break anything. Come on, let's go. I'm going to make sure you do your job, Captain Shiba. 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 Yes, yo, 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 yo. I say that because when the Squad Zero came to bring uh, Ichigo and Pyaku and Renji and Rookie also back to the, well not back to the, with them to Royal Palace or something like that, they showed us some framing uh, picture where Shiba and Kanjo and next to them is the captain guy. And she said that it will make our cousin mad. So, Ishin is their cousin. And that also makes Ichigo their cousin. If Ishin is Ichigo's father, which right now doesn't seem like he is because he said, you're not so reaper. Like, what? Yo, let's go. Let's see. See, that's why I'm betting on you to be the next squad, Captain Toshiro. Hold on. What happened to the manju I left in here? <laughs> manju? Oh, by the way, Captain, there's one report here that uh, caught my Where's attention. Manju? Wait, we'll deal with that in a minute. First, I want to know what happened to the manju I put in here that I was really looking forward to eating. Will you shut up, sir? Oh, no one so cares cool. about your stupid manju. Uh, it was delicious, by the way. So it was you! I Yo. knew it! That's gross insubordination! That's sneaky guy. Hey, what I said about We'd better not. Uh, why the hell not? The captain wanted to go alone because he figures it could be dangerous. Yeah. Of course it could be dangerous. That's exactly why we That's should... That's exactly why. That's why we not, because you're not here, strong like enough. Says. We're not strong enough yet to yeah, do anything exactly. else. Yeah, exactly. We... Friends? Any progress? Yo! No, Aizen! Can't say that Gin! Been, really. We've been successful in Tosen! Some hollows with the ability to Yo, target, the gang is back over here. None of them has survived the process so far. I see. Yo! No matter. We're narrowing in on the location of Shinji Hiroko. Yo, I miss Aizen. We'll continue the hollow Seeing him in the uh, prison isn't enough. Killing Let's two birds like with one stone. Take your time, Gin. Kaname. Everything is working out just fine. Yo. Okay, yeah, let's go. Like it might rain. What are you doing here? Oh, me? I was looking for a bathroom and I got lost. Sir, you're a terrible liar. Look, <laughs> man, if it does rain tonight, okay. we can go on home. <clears throat> Never could pee with an audience. But you're a soul. How are you using toilet bathroom? <laughs> How is school coming along, Masaki? Ishida? Yo, what? this is Quincy's palace, right? Uh, were you talking to me? Sorry, Yanizumi. Well, I go in every day and I'm always... Ichigo's mom! I see. And how about your Seiren training? Uh, uh, my Seiren training? Well... Yo, she's Quincy. So -so, yeah, definitely. Just definitely. So -so, that's all? Yes, I'm sorry. I you're the only surviving member of the Kurosaki family without parents or siblings of any kind. It's only because you are fellow Quincy that we even took you in. Mother, that's what? quite enough. I could hear you all the Is way down the hall. Who is father? Right? I'll be in my room. The last survivor of... Where's father? At the fifth Kurosaki fifth. family. Don't Isn't ask like a... me when you'll come back. He never Isn't like a me. Quincy... Family or something like that? Or what is the case? Masaki? Hmm? I'm sorry. I hope you'll forgive my mother. She's taking her loneliness out on you. Nah, it's fine. She's just a <laughs> Don't bitch. Don't be silly, Ryu. <laughs> There's nothing to forgive. I totally understand. Yo, 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 yo. I, I, I need to say, there came one theory in my mind. Which is unlikable. Let, let's, let's put it like that. Came to my mind some theory, like... Because Ishin said that Ichigo is not a uh, soul reaper, which makes Ishin is not his father, right? Because if he, his mother is Quincy and the father Ishin is like a soul reaper, so it's like 50-50 right now. But he said he's not at all. So, yo, uh, yo, I, I, I won't say, I won't say. It. Let's see if the show explains that one. Katakiri. Yes, what is it, Master Ryuken? 
It's about Masaki. I think she's aware of the real reason she was brought into our household. Okay. She knows it's because Mother wants to ensure the ex Quincy bloodline of the Ishida family. How does she know? Did your mother tell her? Oh, really so they want to continue the family. The dits she seems. What? Makes you wonder. Could she be happy marrying me? Do you think? Yo, 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 yo! I, 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 I just—that was actually one of my theories. That if this motherfucker over here is actually Ichigo's father. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, no, no, it, it can't be. It can't be. Actually, it can't be. But who is if Ishin is not? Because he said Ichigo is not a Soul Reaper at all. Imagine if Ichigo and Uryu are like brothers or something like that. Yo! No fucking way. No fucking way. That's so like you to think that happiness but is they're so different. for a marriage between Queen and neither of these two. Ichigo's mom and Uri's You're father so doesn't have a black hair. Even putting aside your other attributes, your kindness alone will be enough to make her happy, I'm sure. Don't be ridiculous. Some rainy drops over there. It's raining. Man, it's coming down. Amazing. Check it out. Yo. Now that is what you call spirit. That's probably one. What the? Damn it! I guess it's not about spiritual pressure after all. What? <laughs> Yo! A black hollow? Yo! Yo! That looks like so much like Ichigo's uh, What's the Lord mode, right? The horns and the um, helmet and all these things, they look so much same. Yo. There's a person inside. Yeah, even if its whole body is black and the hole in its chest is covered up, going off its spiritual pressure, that is definitely a hollow. What? We Quincy's only head out after the Soul Reapers are dead. Even then, by Yo! tradition, we let gemists like Katagiri do the actual fighting. Remember your position and who you Yo, are. You, you guys need are to take good care you are of yourself. Motherfucker. Act Quincy's like us are too valuable to risk our necks so hastily. I Yo. know that, but still. <laughs> This thing acts like a hollow, but fights like a soul reaper. Yeah. This isn't gonna be easy. That is a strong Captain one. Shiba. What are you doing here, sir? You're yeah. out of your jurisdiction. Are you blind? He's fighting over there. <laughs> Yo. Ryu, before you take any action, you always think about how it might affect Aunt Izumi, the Quincy's, the future, and so many other yeah, things. Yeah, that's pretty selfish. I admire you for that. I really do. But I'm sorry. To me, taking good care of myself means following my heart and doing whatever I can, whenever I can. If I were to hold back and allow my position to prevent me from saving a life when I could have... Yeah. I know Let's my go. Self would never forgive me. Yo, yo, I like her. I like her. I, I, I truly enjoy that they are showing which is mom out. and the backstory about her and also Ishin, because, like I said back in the episode, like that they have always kept Ichigo's mother as a mystery from the day one. They just showed that uh, Ichigo's mom died. Because of some hollow, which actually makes me think about how the fuck did like that weak ass hollow kill Ichigo's mom if if Ichigo's mom is Quincy? Like, was it what what was it was it Fisherman Fisher Fisher Hollow whatever? How in the hell did that guy that hollow kill Ichigo's mom? Because Uryu's father were just. 
like praising her that you are you are on that level you should not fight at all or something like that I, I don't know I don't know with every soul reaper it devours yo I'm just saying this hollow over here smarter. reminds me so much about what's the old age I'm hey, just saying that there's no way a monster like you could go on a rampage in the world of the living burn and get you no let's go Ishii. What? Aizen! What the fuck is doing? So it's a traitor behind all of this. It's because of the whiteness within him. Yo, yo, that reminds so much. Like the hair and everything. It reminds so much, reminds so much about Ichigo's Wasp of Lord. Okay, Ishin, let's go! Oh no! Yo! Is that Zero? What the hell? So she what is, is Quincy. Quincy. Yeah, that girl first, uh, yeah. This wasn't Definitely. part of the plan. I'll deal with her. No, wait. Let's see how this plays out. Go. Leave her alone! What? Yo! Good what? Boy. Now stay right where you are. Yo! That's badass over here. What the fuck is that? Explosion! Look, now you're the one who saved me. Protecting me is what got you hurt so badly. Man, you took out that monster all by yourself. Who are you, anyway? Do I dare tell She's not gonna say that. After all, he's a soul reaper. I think Ishin what is gonna guess like that one. I'm a Quincy. My name's Masaki Kurosaki. I'm a Quincy. Oh, she said that. Yo! <sighs> no kidding. So you're a Quincy, huh? Uh, you're the first real Quincy I've ever laid eyes on. Wow. I mean, Yo. I've heard a lot about him, but I never thought I'd actually be lucky enough to meet one. <laughs> Yo, she's gonna have very different, like, something wrong with this reaction person? for this one. This isn't what I was expecting at all. Different picture of Soul Reapers. I wonder if all the other Soul Reapers are like this. Yeah. No, oh, man, these, these are almost... I hope they are. Nice eyes, and maybe eyes. Ryu and Izumi, this is all of us can work towards a better future. Yeah. Yo, that's beautiful. It's time to go, Katagiri. He surpassed the targeted holification phase. He reached what? the final metastasis. That was eyes is doing but right. Did he have to pass it on to a Because that thing thing looks like the same like oh, before the explosion the hollow effort. Not at all. There are times when straying from the initial goal. Yo. Can result in I'm just saying, outcome. Aizen has his fingers in everything in the show. A hollow created from a dead soul reaper. Yo, this guy, this guy over here. <laughs> this guy is insane. What the fuck? So there is some kind of end credits over here. Okay, let's see. Is that Uri? Oh, that's the that's the Quincy Kings like that Even guardian. Your sins. Oh, that guy over there who broke the Ichigo son back door, right? Did he tell Uryu something? What did he tell to Uryu? Because Uryu seemed like pretty mad about something. The same story what Ishin is telling Ichigo, or what? Yo. Yo, this is this is insane over here again. I just I just can't understand that how they are making every single episode so like amazing, insane. Like all the hype over here. It's it has been insane. All the episodes during this arc has been a fire right now. I can handle this one. Yo, yeah. Ichigo's, Ichigo's mom, yeah, definitely Quincy. Yeah. But like I said, 
Ishin said that Ichigo is not a Soul Reaper at all. Well, he didn't say at all, but he said Ichigo is not a Soul Reaper. Not a mere human also. So, is it like Ichigo is just Quincy or something like that? I don't know. But the fact that the Hollow over there, who Ishin were fighting against, looked so much like Ichigo's was the Lord. Yo. Does Aizen have something to do with that why Ichigo has a hollow in himself? Or had? I don't know, I don't know. But Aizen, he's a fucking chief. The guy has his hands in everything in, in this show. Everything. In. It's like Aizen has planned everything in this show. The guy is just ruling the show right now. We fucking need him. We need Aizen against the Quincy's. To say. But to, to be honest, I, I truly would like to see this go in there that the Quincy's and the Soul Reapers are gonna come together and be friends, like not fighting against each other. If there is something what I guess right or was not right, don't spoil me about that. Even though I don't believe that you guys are gonna spoil me with anything. So <laughs> I'm just saying that the story will tell by the own. But hey, anyway, this was a great episode. I truly enjoyed this one. A lot of information again. And I'm so happy that they are showing us this backstory of Ishin and also Ichigo's mom. So, yeah. I'm so happy about that. Let's go to the next one. I, I'm just gonna need more tea. <laughs> Let's see in the next one.